Well, vaping is now a very serious public health menace for Australia, particularly impacting our youngest members of the community. We've seen stories over the course of high school exam season of high school students having to wear nicotine patches in order to get through a two or three hour exam, such is their level of nicotine addiction. Uh, we've seen research that shows that young people vaping are three times more likely to take up cigarettes and tragically we're already seeing that factor through uh, our cigarette statistics. The only cohort in the population in Australia where smoking rates are actually on the rise is the youngest members of our community. Uh, this is a product that is deliberately and cynically marketed to them. You'll see in the vape stores, you'll see in convenience stores, uh, vapes that have pink unicorns on them, that are flavoured in a way to deliberately attract young people. You'll see them uh, disguised deliberately as highlighter pens or USB sticks so that students can put them in their pencil case and not have them detected by teachers or their parents. But those, those store owners, uh, those store managers, whether they're tobacconists, convenience stores or, or vape stores that increasingly are opening up down the road from our schools because they know that is their target market. They need to know that from the time these regulations take effect they will be breaking the law. Currently there is a loophole in place uh, that means that it is legal to sell non-nicotine vapes. Uh, and, and as we do the raids at the border and, and um, states are doing uh, sweeps as well on the ground, what we are finding, and this should be no surprise really, that all of those vapes that are labelled no nicotine or don't contain a label at all, overwhelmingly, well more than 90% once they're lab tested, uh, are found to contain nicotine. The, on the 1st of January, from the 1st of January, it will be illegal to import any disposable vape. From the 1st of March, it will be illegal to import and supply any, any vape that does not comply with TGA standards. Uh, and that is um, that it be non-disposable, that it be plainly packaged, that it not be flavoured, and that have a range of other conditions about nicotine content and the absence of certain chemicals we know to be particularly harmful.